morning and welcome back to Ginger Welsh Allotments. I hope you're all keeping well and I must apologise about the sound in this as it seems to be really windy this morning. So um, hopefully you can hear me. And I'm going to take you and show you what's different on the plot. So the main thing is the Leaning Tower of Beans has actually gone. I took them out the other day and, um, and my first job today is to dig over that area because I'm going to put my overwintering broad beans in that area there and in this area where this celery still is I'm going to put overwintering garlic in so hopefully there'll be enough room there for the broad beans if I do two rows of broad beans and I've still got that what was the pumpkin patch if um, if I feel like I need more beans. After I clear the bean patch, I'm going to use my soaker to soak the brassicas, which are looking much better actually. Um, there's not much white fly on these at all now, but I don't know what's happened to my purple sprouty broccoli over there. I don't know if it's meant to look like that or if an animal has got in there and eaten it or what but it's looking pretty sorry for itself um, but I'll give it a spray anyway then the next job on the list is to try and clear this area here because this is where I'm going to put my new compost heaps and that will probably take me the rest of the afternoon and um, I'm hoping to get the heaps in today but um, that looks like a lot of work, so I probably won't. But anyway, I'm going to crack on now with clearing the bean bit. And, um, and I'll show you how I get on as the day progresses. So, scrap everything I just said, because as I was starting on the broad bean patch, soon to be broad bean patch, ex runner bean patch, I picked up the straw and it's in really good shape. So I'm going to put that on the pak choy and Swiss chard for some mulch over the winter. Here's the straw I just picked up off the, um, the old runner bean patch. And I'm going to put it on these two beds here because they are getting quite weedy and it might suppress some of the weeds. Now, I'm not sure how spring onions take to being mulched. Um, so I might not put the mulch around the spring onions, I might just put them around the pak choy and the Swiss chard. So I'm going to quickly give it a weed over now and then I'll put the straw on and then I'll continue with the broad bean patch. So here's the bed all covered in straw. I didn't have enough to do the other bed so I'll just have to hand weed that one. And um, I wanted to show you what underneath the straw looked like because as you can see there's absolutely no weeds well apart from the odd ones here and there but as it, this bit here had no straw on and this bit here obviously had all the straw on so it really does suppress the weeds which pleases me very much um, so I just thought I'd show you that anyway. Right, I'm going to crack on now with weeding, I think. So I'm just about to head home for my lunch and I thought I'd show you the progress I've made this morning. So I've weeded this bed and I've taken out two pak choy for our tea tonight and tomorrow as I'm doing stir fry. The, um, Swiss chard and cabbage bed as I showed you earlier. Um, I've um, put the straw on as a weed suppressant and I turned over the runner bean section which will now be the broad bean section and I dug up some celery which is in this bag here along with the two pak choy that I'm taking home for tea. 
So hopefully, if it doesn't rain, I'll be back over here this afternoon to carry on with that compost heap and spray in that white fly. So I've made a start on digging out the foundations for the compost heap. And I think I'm going to end up, the heap is probably going to end up going down to that first water butt and the water butts will just move that way a bit. And um, I don't think you'd have to really go to the effort of digging up as much as I'm doing here. But because this ground has just got a bit away from me, um, I didn't want any humongous weeds to be growing up um through the compost and then when i'm turning the compost keep hitting a load of weeds all the time so i thought well if i dug it out and made a smooth foundation in theory it should make my life easier in the long run um and of course i haven't got as much of that done as i would have liked to um but i have been um, spraying the white fly which takes me just ages and I'm not entirely sure if the purple sprout and broccoli is dead because I don't think it should look the way it looks in that bit and um, I think it's meant to more look like that but that looks like something's eating it, doesn't it? So I'm not sure what to say about that. I'm a bit frustrated with this white fly because part of me thinks I'm spending loads of time spraying it and I'm not sure if I've left it too late and the plants are dead anyway. So I'm not sure whether I should just sort of leave it and see if the white fly goes away by itself or whether I should keep spraying it and maybe the spray is helping and I'm just not realizing and I do think it has got better to what it was there's definitely not as much white fly on there but it's still taking up an awful lot of my time to spray something that I'm not entirely sure is past any help anyway so um, if anyone out there can give me some advice please do and the other thing I did was weed my onions because um, sprung, uh, shoots are, are coming up now and I wanted to weed it because it was getting quite weedy so I don't know if you can see there well, there's a couple of shoots popping through so hopefully that means the onions have taken hold and we should get a good crop so that's what I've done today so it's beginning to rain now and I'm going to call it a day so I did manage to do my broad bean bed and I did manage to weed my onions and weed my pak toy bed and my Swiss chard bed so a little bit has been achieved but it feels like not very much because I spent so long spraying the white fly anyhow all I can say about that is lovely job hello it's been about four days since my last update and um, I've come over this morning and I've cleared the ground and I've got the first um, pallet in place so I'll show you what's happening with the new compost heap so there's the first pallet in place and it took up more room than I thought so I think I'm gonna now have to dig out down to where my fork is over there and then I can put that pallet that's uh, leaning against the heap um, at the back and bring in the next pallet but I shall dig out this for now and see how far I get I'll keep you updated as I go so I finished digging the ground up to where I think I need to go which is just there and I've got the two 
pallets in place now. Well, we're one pallet and then I constructed the other two. And I just put a screw in there and one further down and then the same one in there and one further down. And I did the same the other side. I need to bring a saw over just to saw off that top bit. Um, if I'm feeling really fastidious about it. At the moment, I'm, I'm in an hour in about whether to use this pallet next to that other one. Um, and I'm thinking that if I took this top bit off, it should be fine to use. And, um, and then I'll just have to fix it in place. It's a bit shorter than the other palette, so it won't sit as proud as the other ones. But um, I think that should be fine. I'm going to do it. I'm going to take the top bit off and um, position it in and screw it in. And um, I'll show you what I've done. So that's it complete for now. Um, I still have the doors to put on. I need to get some hinges and I also need to um, cut the wood down to size or possibly make a door out of that wood but not actually those pallets. Um, so I'll have a think about that in the week but I'm uh, happy with that. It looks good and um, I'll have plenty more room for my compost and hopefully I'll be able to turn the compost and um, it should compost quicker is the thinking. So I'm pleased with how the heaps have turned out. They um, they took a lot longer as usual than I thought they would and they don't fit together quite as well as I would have liked. Um, well the two do but the end one doesn't so there we are. I'll have to live with it as it is. It's not bad for a load of free wood that I was given from a friend. So um, hopefully you'll have some more pallets and I can make some heaps for keeping manure in and for leaf mould. So I think I'm going to go home now and all I can say about today is lovely job! <laughs>